the one name that is still out there that I will not let go on this show, and you knew I would do it, Joe. Andrew Chafin is still a free agent, and he is still connected to the Mets, obviously one of the stars of the left-handed pitching market. The Mets have been active in rebuilding their bullpen. They brought back Edwin Diaz. They signed David Robertson. They traded for Brooks Raley. They've made significant additions to this bullpen. But it feels like a move with Chafin is that one arm that gets them over the top to potentially be dominant from the sixth inning all the way to the end of the game. Chafin fits really great with the Mets. Uh, I don't know if they really desire to sign another guaranteed bullpen spot. Uh, Andy Martino's reported that they're looking for guys with options and Andrew Chafin is obviously something with someone without that, because if you think about, you know, we can look at the roster based on opening day and that's all a factor, but at the same time throughout a season, you're going to use so many relievers. You need guys that are able to go up and down uh, for, you know, just simply having additional arms because there's times where the bullpen gets taxed and you need an additional arm. If you're filling up the bullpen with non-optionable players, it limits your flexibility to do that throughout the season. So while that, you know, maybe disappoints some people because they just want to build that mega bullpen and, you know, perhaps the Mets do sign Andrew Chafin or Zach Britton. Those are I was going to say Britton. Yeah, they yeah, are connected they to Britton as well. Yeah, so they may sign one of those guys, and if they do, then obviously it helps the bullpen. Uh, but I think their their priority now is looking at guys that are optionable, 